Hello, time for another update video. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. January has been the month from hell. <laughs> um, pretty much everything that could go wrong has gone wrong this month. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, lots of personal stuff going on. Um, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer and um, we lost our um, summer house that we usually go to every year since I was three years old. Um, this is the first year that we're not going, um, so that's pretty sad. I was kind of hoping that um, I could continue on the tradition with my daughter as she got a little older and bring her there and, you know, make allow her to have some fun memories just like I've had. Um, my insurance got canceled, um, so I didn't have insurance for a little while. Had to figure out that fiasco. Um, everyone in my house has had the flu. Um, obviously there were injuries from training, so I haven't been training a lot. Um, and yeah, just pretty much everything that could go wrong, um, has. So, um, in light of that, um, because I have the flu, I am down to 206. Um, so I know that that's not the way to get to Wonderland, but, um, Unfortunately, I haven't had that much of an appetite and, um, you know, all that stuff. So, um, let's see, a little update on Contrave. I stopped taking it. Um, last week, about a week ago, on Thursday, um, I ended up becoming so constipated, um, TMI, so turn off the video here if you're uh, faint of stomach. Um, I became so constipated that um, I thought I was going to end up in the hospital. Um, I ended up calling my surgeon, I called my primary care doctor, I was screaming in pain, I was begging my parents to take me to the hospital or call an ambulance. Um, it was the worst pain I've ever been in in my life and um, I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. Um, I had to take um, two enemas. <laughs> um, if you've never had to do that, definitely a humbling experience. Um, it was just the worst, most terrible pain experience, everything that I've ever had in my life. Um, and constipation is definitely one of the side effects of Contrave. Um, I'd had like one issue maybe before, um, a couple little issues here and there. Um, with like bleeding and stuff so I had mentioned it to my primary care physician and she said keep an eye on it but um, once last week hit I was like I'm done I'm not doing this anymore it's not worth it um, that was my only side effect of Contrave so um, I'm sure not everybody gets it I've never been constipated in my life um, I've never been one of those people that's had issues um, so yeah it's been a it's been a horrible month to say the least. Um, but I'm off Contrave. Um, my doctor, my surgeon told me it was okay to just stop taking it right away. I ended up having to take like, you know, a couple, um, different laxatives and stuff for the next couple days. I was, um, taking a spoonful of mineral oil morning and night. Now mineral oil doesn't have a taste or a smell, but the texture, it's bad. Um, so anyway, things seem to be okay now. I am almost pain-free a week later, um, but I will not be taking Contrave anymore. So um, I think it was a combination of probably that and eating badly. I'd been eating a lot of like pizza and carbs and stuff too. Um, so I can't blame it fully on Contrave, but definitely that was the main reason. Um, I think it definitely helped me, it definitely helped kickstart me in my weight loss. Um, I pretty much lost about six or seven pounds with it, um, which is great because I was stuck for a very long time. Um, and now I'm just really trying to focus on eating healthy and um, getting myself healthy so I can get back to training again. I've had to cancel many sessions. Um, either because my daughter was sick or I was sick. Um, so now I am just waiting to hopefully get over this flu. And uh, it's almost gone. I'm, I'm like 75% better. So um, next week, I'm sure I'll be able to train again. 
um, I was supposed to go on a trip with my daughter for her birthday and I had to cancel it uh, twice. Um, so hopefully that will be happening next week. Um, everyone says I look really skinny. I probably do because I haven't been eating and I've been sick. Um, so I guess that's a positive. Um, the other positive is that today is January 31st, so this month of hell is almost over. So I will update as things progress as always, and I hope everyone else is doing well. Um, if you are in Contrave and you are constipated, um, or if you're thinking of taking Contrave, just make sure that you're eating Fruit, uh, fruits and vegetables or taking some sort of um, laxative every couple days just to sort of keep you um, regular because I would never want what happened to me to happen to anyone else. Um, I thought I would have to go to the hospital and become uh, disimpacted, which almost happened. Um, I ended up taking a painkiller that day. I don't, I never take painkillers. Um, I was screaming, screaming in pain, and I had my dad, I was like, just give me something, I don't care what it is, just find something. Um, we had leftover Oxycontin from 2010, from a surgery of somebody's, I don't know, um, and I took one, and that allowed me to fall asleep for a little bit and not be in pain, but um, yeah, so um, I'm curious to know if other people have had that experience with Contrave or have had other side effects. Um, I know there's a side effects with every medication, but I've never had a, anything like that happen. So that's my experience. Not everyone's the same. Um, other than that, Contrave worked well for me. Um, so yeah, I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying don't do it. Just be careful. Listen to your body um, and keep yourself regular. <laughs>